Let's get close to yeah. All right, I think we're back. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back with a real Wi-Fi code this time. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Ooh. So we will be live on Playboy Radio. Um, legitimately live for the first time. Oh, there's my condom cover. Uh, uh, DP! Say hi to DP. Hi, DP. Hi, kids. Jay, Nathan, Heather, and Jason. Ooh, ooh. JJ Bear and H Bear, Daryl, Nasir. Nasir, babe is not a way to address a woman. So instead of pockets telling you this, let me just tell you as a gentleman, you don't know her, don't call her babe. Ooh. Show some class. You know, if JJ Bear or DP or Daryl, who, who knows her, eh, that's different. But, you know. I, I just don't think babe or baby is the way you dress her. I don't even really. let you call me babe. Yeah, you don't even let me call. I, I'm not even allowed to call it. To, to Holly, that's a, uh, hey, babies. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful to Holly to use the word babe. But for J.H. Taylor, it's a whole different story because we know them well. So just advice on, you know, being a gentleman, that's all. That's mm -hmm. all. Incredible time of Dirty Perv Week. Oh, my God, what an amazing week. Yes. Yep. Uh, still waiting for the codes, so we're not live yet on Playboy Radio. We will tell you, New Year's Eve, Miami, luxury lifestyle vacation. Go to LLVClub.com. There are, from what I understand, 23 or 24 spots available. That's all that's left. It is selling out fast. Go to LLVClub.com. Check it out. Come join us, please. Luxury lifestyle vacations. Yeah, but it's LLVClub.com. Okay. Okay. Because if you go the other way, it won't work. If you go the other way. Ah, go the other way. you have to go the other way, yeah. <laughs> January 3rd through the 10th, we'll be at Desire uh, speaking and broadcasting live. Go to desire-experience.com. And then March 2017, Young Swingers Week. Go to youngswingersweek.com. Please check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Why is Zach sorry? Zach, why are you saying you're sorry? You didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, Nasir. Uh, it's not that it hurts, it's that it's disrespectful. Anyway. All right, so that's what's going on. That's where we're going to be. I don't know why Zach is saying he's sorry, because Zach didn't do anything. Nasir didn't do anything either. Just, you know, it's about learning. Yeah. Teachable moments. Sorry, Daryl, we missed your birthday. Yes, teachable moments. I like oh, that. Moment. I like that. We're being asked, how are we? I'm good. How Our holiday was nice. Yeah. You weren't feeling well yesterday. I wasn't feeling well. What was wrong? I had a tummy problem. She did have a tummy problem. <laughs> Not that time of the month. No, no, no don't no. have those anymore. Yep, you don't have those anymore. Woo but then we think about having a baby, and we're like, oh, oh. But then I, know. I think, mm, I'm good. Yeah, because in six years we could travel the world. Yes, because our son will be out of high school. Well, he'll Both start high kids. school next year. Our daughter will start high school in two years. True. We had our kids when we were young. Daryl, you should look at that cruise. Desire Venice Cruise. Go to desire-experience.com. Great stuff going on there. Great stuff Venice, going on there. Venice. So, wait, Venice, then Bologna. Bo yeah. Both are Italy. Yes. Then three stops in Croatia. Yes. And one in Slovenia. Yes. And so, then back to Venice. And then back to Venice, yeah. Yeah. Thanksgiving was fun. It really was. Thanksgiving was We're delicious. waiting. We're not live. Okay. No, we're just on Can Facebook. You lights you have on? These are mood lighting. Mood lighting? I don't know. The voice you're hearing is the amazing one and only Tao. Good news, bad news. Oh, I guess log in. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> you're listening to Modern Love with Holly and Michael on Playboy Radio, powered by... Dash Radio. Dash Radio. Go download the app. Apple and Android. Or, wait, wait, Tao taught me. DashRadio.com slash Playboy Radio. Backslash. Backslash. Dash radio dot com backslash Playboy Radio. It's the one, you know, it's the it's the one on the bottom backslash of the keyboard. Backslash thingy. Yeah. You know, we could adopt or foster. We could do that. We could. No. Okay, no, we couldn't do that. We couldn't no. do that. Yeah. Th yeah. Thanksgiving was fun. We spent it with some very good friends. Yes, we did. We did. We had a good time. I got to play with babies. You got to play with babies, which gave her a little bit of baby fever. We, uh, we... Just, Hi, Jessica. We babysit. Whenever you're ready, you tell us. We'll yeah, I, as soon as he checks this out. Okay, cool. Jessica was in town with her boyfriend. Jessica who? Uh, okay, 
I don't want to give away all of her information just because she may not want it, but do you remember she and her boyfriend at the time did one episode of Swing as newbies, and then she and her man had split up but remained yes. friends, and they came on Swing Nightcap, the yes. show we, we hosted. Uh-huh. Wonderful, wonderful person. Texas. Nope, not. <laughs> no, I think her profile says she lives in the South. Okay. So, yeah. It's going to be harder to read all these once we start, you guys. Today we're going to talk about... Um, stuff. Stuff, no. How to get started in the lifestyle if it's something you really want to do. Uh, you know, we can talk about who we did, when we did them, and where we did them. But what, what's that going to do for you? I mean, it's great spank bait material for me. Only for you, not, yeah, for, not for you. So, uh, we got a new engineer today. This is going to be interesting to see how he handles all of it. <laughs> uh, oh, something that's near and dear to your heart, I thought we would discuss today. My ribs? Okay, those are near to your heart. <laughs> healthy vaginas. Oh, God, yes. How yes. to keep vaginas healthy. Mm -hmm. No angry vagina syndrome. No ABS, angry vagina syndrome. Heather, Jason, we want you cruising with us too. Uh, Desire Venice Cruise, absolutely, absolutely. What else did I want? Uh, intimacy, healthy sexual relationships, things like that I just wanted to talk about because if you're going to practice consensual non-monogamy, well, I truly think these are some uh, topics you should have. Should I talk about my dream? <laughs> no, no, no. What time is it? 2.11. Wow. I'm sorry about no, that. No, it's not your fault, it's not man. Your fault. Yeah. New studio, technical difficulties, yeah. but at least we get to see you here. <laughs> so. so in Oklahoma, Babe and Hun are regional. All right. That I guess that makes sense, but I still I look at it uh, and again, this is just me. And and based on humbling to say I've talked to tens of thousands of women. They don't like pet names like Babe or Hun or Sweetie. If you have a, a southern accent, you can get, get away with it. So Only there's, a, cause there's like, an asterisk? Hey, Sweetie. Okay, so because it's regional. Hey, honey. Yeah. So it's regional. Yeah. But then what about culturally? Then maybe for Nasir's culture, that is acceptable. I still don't like Babe. Hey, Babe. Even if they had a southern accent? Yeah, no. It doesn't count. But there's got to be there's got to be kind of like that line, and it's not in my opinion it's not fair to say well only these people can cross the line but these people can't because on social media you don't know if they have an accent or not. True, true. People true. don't type with an accent. Right. That'd be really cool if they did. That'd be interesting if they did, huh? Uh huh. Whereas Chrissy is saying she loves pet names. Chrissy, do you love pet names from people you know or from strangers that just address you for the first time on social media <laughs> or when you're out? That's um. Not something I'd be interested in. No. Mm -hmm. Van, the cruise, Desire Venice, baby. Go to desire-experience.com. Check it out. It's going to be amazing. Colleen, we missed to... you guys too. Wish we could have been up there with you. You're going to have to brush up on your prior commitments. Italian. <laughs> My what? You're Italian. You I said it right. Italian. You said it right. <laughs> I used to speak fluent Italian when I was little. Really? My great grandparents. Yeah, and my grandparents were from Italy. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's yeah, I feel like if you speak the language, you kind of got like a head up on everybody. A little bit, yeah. Kind of yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's expanded. Not to be cheesy, I think there's like that body language, not the language of love per se, but the body language where it's if you show a little respect in a country and smile, <laughs> everywhere we've been, they they tend to, okay, she's got a lot of great cleavage, I know too. I just flash my boobs and yeah. I get things done, I don't know. I wish there was a guy equivalent. Right? Yeah, that's true. Chrissy, okay, so that's what Chrissy said. Social media, no. She okay. doesn't like pet names to be used on social media by strangers. In person, if it's said with affection, then yes. That I can understand. Okay, I get it. That I can understand. Mm -hmm. I just, I guess I believe in erring on the side caution. of caution. Daryl, we know you have tons of respect. Everyone has tons Better of respect. Better be safe and sorry. Did you cut your hair? No, she didn't cut her hair. No. Looks nice. I washed it. <laughs> That's rare. That's rare. I always wash my Should hair. Should we just start and whenever that kicks in, it just goes on air? Um, if you want to do it that way, I mean, you're going to miss a lot. You're just going to be talking to yourself. Like, right. Well, we got oh, oh, hundreds of people I there. See, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. We can, we can. Well, how long are they projecting before it'll go up? I'm just waiting for this guy to log in and redo this thing. You know what I mean? It's right. Been, I'm just literally just waiting for him. I checked everything, 
15 times and it's all it looks right to me but it's still not plugging in the bearded man knows what he's saying not this beard that beard (laughs) and for those wondering yes it's a little shorter now had a trimming accident let's just call that before seeing the barber we were were, were in jamaica with a group called dirty pervs great group right Right. so i didn't have a chance to go and and get it trimmed because we've been gone for about four or five weeks so we're there. It's the last night. Uh, we say our goodbyes to everybody, and I decide I can't, I can't fly like this. It's it's too, yeah. it's just driving me crazy. Yeah. So I, I hook up the attachment. I should have used a six. I used a four. Oh. And I went and you one tried spot. It, you tried yeah. it right here. Yeah, I should have tried it somewhere where you wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it went like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Amish. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm like Amish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you had to fix it all. I'm not. Oh, I'm not even in. There I am. Now I'm in my ears. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Holy moly, that's not... You have a volume thing there. But you know what we don't have? We don't have a, um, a sneeze button. A hiccup, a burp, co- sneeze cough. button. Cough. Cough button. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We used to have... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. This is what you do, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do it around here. You got to do it the old-fashioned way. All right, so yes. we'll start. Here's what we're going to do. This is called uh, taking down the fourth wall, and we're going to start... We're going to go what we're calling... Um, uh, so I'm not realize I should. Now, Sarah, you did nothing wrong. Nothing, nothing, nothing wrong at all. Just sharing feedback. That's it. Teachable moment. You're awesome. Seriously. We LUV. We love you. Um, so what do you think? If we just start now? Yeah. And then, and then we'll once right it now kicks. Right now it's playing a reader. Okay. Okay. So but like, will it kick the live show in once you get this code in? Yeah. Right on. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I've been ready since the day I was born. Since the day you were Playboy Radio's Modern Love with Holly and Michael live right now, just on Facebook, soon on Dash Radio. We are powered by Dash Radio. Want to know how to listen when we're not on Facebook? Go to the Apple, go to the Android App Store. That's all you got to do. Yeah. What do you do there? So simple. What do you do there? Android, I think, is Google Play. You just. But what do you do? Dash Radio. Yeah. Backslash. No. No. Just Dash Dash Radio. Radio. (laughs) Apple or Android, download the app. Not only is the download of the app free, not only is every station on Dash's radio network free, but it's also commercial free. Right. I love it. I live it. It is great to be back with a family that is Playboy Radio and now Dash. I mean, it's just from everyone we meet, from the new to, to the people that have been around for a while. It Don't just, say old. I won't say old. That's why I say the new to the people that have been around for a while. It continues. <laughs> We were on a break. Never mind. It <laughs> continues to get better and better each and every time, in my opinion. We have been gone for, like we had said, we were with the Dirty Purrs in Jamaica. Before that, we did the unveiling of the new skin in Cancun. Mm-hmm. Before that, we were in Puerto Vallarta, so we've been traveling a lot. Back in the studio. Back at it again with the white hands. Um, we did do one show from the studio that was recorded just to show the new studio. Now, though, we're sort of live. We're sort of live. Sort of live. <laughs> hey, do you know what they should call an Apple, uh, an iPhone charger? What? Apple juice. Apple juice. Because it? it's juicing it up. It's, it's apple juice. <laughs> Good thing this is not a show about comedy. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Quick reminder, New Year's Eve in Miami. Join us. Join us. Go to hollyandmichael.com. You will see all of the information there. Also, Michael Pockets on Facebook. Yes. It's which you're amazing. It's going to be amazing. At Swing Time 69 on Twitter. Tons of information. New Year's Eve in Miami with LLVclub.com. January 3rd through the 10th, we will be speaking and broadcasting mm-hmm. in Cancun at Desire Resorts. Go to desire-experience.com to learn about that. That's in Mexico. That is Can. <laughs> I'm just letting people know. Cancun. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least. Cancun, Texas. No, it's Cancun. No, there's Mexico. a Paris, Texas. I don't there's think it's a, Cancun. There's a Paris, California, too. There's a Paris just of your hashtag, butt in a minute. Hashtag saying. Just hashtag just saying. Clarify. Last but not least, Young Swingers Week in Jamaica, March of 2017. Go to youngswingersweek.com. Can you believe that? No, I can't. From what I understand, Young Swingers Week only has two rooms available still, and New Year's Eve with Luxury Lifestyle Vacation has less than 20. I know it's less than 25, but maybe only 22 spots available. Big, exciting giveaways coming soon. We have to talk about it with Tao before we announce mm-hmm. it here. We are going to do it on social media for sure. Yes, definitely. On um, Holly and Michael. 
Uh-huh. I'm going to do it on Facebook. Yes. We're going to do it at, uh, at Swing Time 69 on Twitter yes. and Michael Pockets on Facebook. And my Instagram, Real Holly Pockets, we'll do it there too. All right. And I, and when I say big giveaways, one of the packages Huge. will be worth over $3,000. The other package worth over $600. So we will keep you posted on um, how to win that. Yes. How to get involved. Got to get in it to win it. Exactly. That's what I we, just like the lottery. Just like the lottery. Yeah. Got to get in it to win it. What is modern love? What is, we've talked about this a few times, let's readdress this. What is modern love? Because often you say to me, okay, okay, enough explaining, enough going over consensual non-monogamy. But we do have new listeners and new, yes. new Especially being with a Dash family. Right. So people that are new to us have not heard it yet. So modern love to me is, it encompasses... Everything that we talk about, it, talk, it talks about single people love. and people in relationships, right? Right, married and dating. Mm -hmm. All right. What about to me? Agree or disagree? It includes in modern love consensual non-monogamy, which is LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. It includes the lifestyle, no matter how you perceive the word lifestyle. Right. Swingers, polyamory, open relationship, which is completely different to a lot of people in definition yes, it than is. swinging. Right. Okay, an open relationship typically means the couple can do as they please mm -hmm. when they desire. Right. Whereas swinging is most of the time, the majority of the time, done together. Yes. Because you get pleasure watching each other and getting pleasure from other people. Right. Polyamory, you fall more in love. love. Swinging, you fall more in lust yes. or like. You're shaking your head. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> I don't think you can do that. You said my, my sister jokingly just sent me a text that said, you got to let go and okay. let God. Let go and let God. In quotes. Like, okay, and you know what? She's right. <laughs> right, just randomly. We, and here, <laughs> our new engineer is sharing this with us. We're going to be modern love. Let go and let God. Absolutely, because what we get from some of the world's leading ministers, priests, leaders of mosques, rabbis, Buddhists, they share that whatever you believe in, pleasure is part of that. Mm -hmm. Pleasure is part of that. And adultery, adultery is different than infidelity. Infidelity literally means cheating right. on your partner. Yeah. Adultery means a married individual having sex with someone other than their spouse. But you're not cheating. <laughs> if you have permission. <laughs> if it's done right. consensually. Right. So as many religious leaders share with us, that the lifestyle, that open relationships, that modern love, that polyamory, swinging, BDSM, kink, threesomes, all of this is sex positive. Mm -hmm. I'd say mentally healthy. Oh, definitely. And you have to be mentally healthy to be in this. Uh, well, you should be. You should be. You should be. Yeah. It's I, a club I'm, that you don't need to pay a, a membership to join, but, you know, it's something you should be mentally healthy. Right. And there's no test you have to take. No. No. We, you know what I would ask, though? What? No drama. Oh, God. I hate no drama. drama. I hate drama. Fantasy exploration. Save the drama for your mama. Modern love. I put that... Fantasy exploration under modern love because what about the couples? So let go and let God, as his sister just shared with him, yeah. right? That can also mean share with your partner what you're feeling. Right. That you might fantasize about X, Y, and Z. You don't want to do it. No, you just want to talk about it. You want it. to talk about it. Maybe you want to be handcuffed. Right. Or blindfolded. Or bring toys. Maybe bring toys. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to have chocolate drizzled all over your body and licked off. Or wax. Or, um, I don't want to lick wax. Maybe not lick so. that. Yeah, just for the record, I'm not going to lick the <laughs> wax. I, that's just me. That's just me. But feels, uh, hopefully you feel safe enough in your relationship or with whoever you're right. with to, to have fantasy exploration. Right. Because if you don't, then you guys need to talk. There's something missing in your relationship and you need to talk, talk about that. Open, honest communication. Right. You're right. Because if you're afraid to share... So if this person is your best friend, we're talking about modern love. We're talking about being unleashed. We're talking about allowing yourself, if you're single, to explore. And if you're in a relationship, to explore with your partner. Because I often say, cheating is based on lying and deceit. Mm -hmm. Being in a consensually non-monogamous relationship is built, not based, but built right. on trust and honesty. Mm -hmm. And as... Our new engineer is <clears throat> How can we refer to you? I, I don't Kurt. like to use your own. What? Kurt. Can we can say Kurt? All right, or, I don't like or, or Uncle Squirt. <clears throat> We're going with Uncle oh. Squirt. Oh, wow, there's a story behind that. Obviously. Uncle Squirt. I just saw it, and I don't. I try not to get sidetracked, but actually, 
just joined us on uh, Facebook Live. I would love for her to call in, but we don't know the student. Is, is there even a phone in there yet? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Are we are we live on Dash yet? No, yeah, we are. Oh, we are live on Dash. That's good. But Ashley and Early from uh, oh our hit show Swing, they did the first three seasons with us. Incredible people. All right, anyway, just, so I just wanted to give you a shout she out, Ashley. Was tall enough to reach the dial? or on? Not often. Not often. She usually wasn't tall enough. She was, you know, if you remember Ash, she came, she was she was boob level in the sense that you could set your boobs She's on Ash. She's pocket size. She's pocket size for sure. And we love Ash. She knows that. She knows, but go back to what uh, Uncle Squirt said. God, that's a great I name. I love Uncle that Squirt. name. His sister said, "Let, let love, go. well, let go, let God, let go, let God." Let yeah. go, let God. And that is modern love. Let go, let love, right. let God, whoever it is. If you care enough about your partner, share with them what you're thinking. Because if they can't accept you, what happens? Yeah, it's not gonna work. I don't think it's going to work. Sorry. I know that, that we believe in fixing things and stuff like that, but there's a certain part in a relationship that it can't work. You just wrote a new article that's going to be published in a number of magazines. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put it at hollymichael.com because we can before it gets published. <laughs> and I love how you share with people your take on things because it's always interesting to it's hear, interesting. to see how you see things. No. Right. But I love what you wrote, and you share on ways to, if there is even a little bit of flame or flicker there, mm -hmm. how to reignite that. Yeah. Okay? We're not looking at some guru. We're not saying go spend $10,000 so we'll Tony Robbins tell you how to feel good about yourself. <laughs> no. You were talking about how to go from icy to spicy. Mm -hmm. In your way, a brand new way that you're going to release soon. And I love your last two paragraphs, though. When you commented... If you are both at a point where you recognize you are doing more harm than good to each other mm -hmm. and to your family, i.e. kids, too. Yes, definitely. Then be mature enough to walk away. Yep. If you're both at that point. That's healthy. It is healthy. You and I proactively seek or, and, and, and see a therapist. Proactively. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just so we can share. I, I do a lot of counseling and coaching. And it's not, it, it doesn't. Other people's lives affect me because I allow it, mm -hmm. and sometimes I internalize it, and that is kind of a safe place for me to discuss it. Never who, right. just no, not. what I'm feeling about us based on these things, because mm -hmm. I get affected too. Right, I know you do. But you, you, sometimes what other what happens in other people's lives make right. you think. But not, yes. not in a negative way, just, oh, you know what, they are doing this, let's discuss this, what would happen, blah, blah, blah. You know about that study that, uh, that I'm part of and we're going to have published in some journals soon, uh, looking at, you would be shocked, Uncle Squirt, at the amount of couples that went through trauma based on Angelina and Brad breaking up. Yes, oh. it's crazy. They mirrored their relationship to their celebrity crushes. If they can't make it, then I can't. Right, which so is stupid. Anyway, we, we did the research. We have the science behind it. We're, we talk about it, but I love what you were saying. And you kind of ended it with be strong enough to know that being happy is better than being in a relationship that makes you sad. Mm hmm. And, and I love that. And you used some statistics and stuff there, too. Yes, I did. So I like that. Christy <laughs> brought up. Br brought up. Brought up. Brought Christy up. brought up a point about, uh, yeah, there is no test. But she said, let's speak real. How many bat crap crazy people have you met in the lifestyle? Uh, <laughs> hey, I want Biggest bat crap crazy right there. Oh, my there. God. But you love me anyway. I do love you. I do love you. I do if I was a bat crap crazy, you would have a very dull life. Bat you know what? You, you got All work and no play makes Michael a dull boy. Before we went live on Dash, we were live on Facebook, which is at Michael Pockets, and we were talking about respect. Now, I, I'm a big believer. I'm old-fashioned. I was raised by my grandparents, Uncle Squirt. I don't know what you think about this, but I, in person, things aren't typically as interpretable, meaning you can sense someone's meaning when you see them and hear them. Versus on social media. So somebody, and again, no need to apologize again. We understand it was not meant out of disrespect. But I have found in our travels, and I said this earlier, I'm going to say it again, I'm humbled. Tens of thousands of people. Women have shared that on social media, mm -hmm. they do not like to be approached and given pet names like babe, yes. honey, sweetie, sweetie pie, <laughs> sugar, darling. Yeah. Simply because if... And what the women have said, if these guys don't know me, 
and this is the first way they address me. What gives them the right to call me that? What's it going to be like after that? Right. I'm not your babe. I'm not your sweetie or honey. Seven years, you still won't let me call you babe. I know. You don't like that word. Baby, you like baby. Baby, yes. But babe, it sounds like you're too freaking lazy to call you call me baby. It's the it's, same amount of words. And you know what? It's, it's just... Oh, two syllables two versus syllable. one. Baby. Oh, babe. Two syllables. Hey, babe. And that's so, what so I mean. Stupid. It's not that you are purposely being disrespectful. You don't know how the other per. My wife doesn't like when I call her babe. <laughs> Okay. I don't so, like when you call me Holly either. Well, just it really yeah. upsets me. You think you think I'm mad at you? That's why. Because you think I'm mad at you. I know I'm. Um, you're mad. At but Chrissy, I'm not. Mad at you. Chrissy makes a point though that some people can be back crap crazy like you. Often, you and I are proud. We travel and we have traveled the world. The only two continents we haven't been to to broadcast, speak, appear, and do seminars. Uh, and you, a three-time Playboy model, sign autographs. Are Australia and Africa, Africa. and we will. Uh, there's plans actually for New Zealand and Australia in 2017. So we're proud of the term swinger. We understand what it really means. It scares off a lot of people. But what are who are swingers? And I don't want to go into a, well this person, that person, or that person because you and I say it's about the what, not the who. Yeah, I can it's, a, say, it's a mindset too. Right, I can say an engineer on a radio station, uh -huh. but I'm not naming Uncle Squirt. Right. <laughs> you know, it's just that he might not be out. Yeah, that's respect too. Because, right. I mean, people lose their jobs or their families or things like that. Who are swingers? It's it's you. It's me. It's our next door neighbors. It's, Shockingly, you would be surprised. It is your next door neighbor. It is your next door neighbor. It is the doctor that delivered your child. Mm -hmm. It is the PTA mom and dad. It is your, your child's classmate's parent that you, you thought... Your bishop or your, your oh pastor. yeah, a lot of religious leaders, and again, that's why we say please respect athletes, actors, people who deliver your mail and pick up your trash. Uh, it's it's lawyers, it's accountants, it's politicians, elected officials. But it doesn't mean they're bad people. Ever. Nope. But you you idolize some people idolize or or take it for every word what these people say. And what would what would you say? What would you think if they came out? What would people say I mean, about them? Well, okay. What would I think? What would I say? Well, I'd be proud. You would be proud. But right. What do you think other people would say? Here's one of the sad real. Uh, here's one of the sad facts when we look at the halo effect of monogamy, meaning people perceive monogamy to be a certain way. Like, right. oh my gosh, we're gonna meet somebody. I'm gonna fall in love. We're gonna be with each other forever, and it's just us having sex. Right. That's what's called a halo effect. Mm -hmm. It looks perfect. But it's not real. It's not real. It's not real. When we know that 83% of all women at, well, of the women asked, and 86% of the men asked, that were married, all of these people were married, if not caught, would they cheat? 83% of women said yes, 86% of men said yes. Mm -hmm. So that hey, monogamy has a halo effect. What I was leading to, though, and I take forever to get to, <laughs> is with consensual non-monogamy, right. even people who practice consensual mm -hmm. non-monogamous relationships look down on others yep it happens because it's the smoker who says yeah i know smoking kills it creates lung cancer the science is there but it's not gonna happen to me right. or i'm just doing two a day right. oh, i mean an hour it it's the 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 mental you know what i call it what mental masturbation because you're playing with your own mind yeah you are and it's okay for you to do it, but mm -hmm. then you start judging someone else who does it. Not right. all swingers do that. However, there, there are a are lot some. that do. You don't do it this way, you're not a real swinger. If you don't do it my way or, or if you don't have sex with right. me, it's, it's not the right way. But it's that's totally not the case. Right. And I think it's asinine to say that or even think it. Well, I think it, I, absolutely. It's asinine to judge others. Mm -hmm. We're a community that asks not to be judged any way you practice modern love, consensual non-monogamy, to sit back and say, well, because you don't have sports sex, meaning, oh, tequila, I'm drinking tequila too, let's have sex. No, you don't have to do that. You can be full swap, which is anything goes within your rules and boundaries up to and including foreplay and... Penis inside vagina. There you go, penis inside <laughs> vagina, that's full swap. Soft swap is everything we just named except penis inside vagina. Exhibitionists? Can you come up with some better names for them? No! Penis and vagina. I like to keep it technical. <laughs> I hate those yeah, words. Yeah, well, the FCC seems to not mind it when I use those words. <laughs> I don't have to worry about Uncle Squirt. <laughs> anyway. Wiener and vagina. Oh, gosh. So much fun. Or pee, pee That's not exhibitionists. What are exhibitionists? <laughs> people that like to be watched. And voyeurs. People like to watch other people. Right. And you and I have added a fifth quarter, and that's just fifth category, and that's just... 
awesome people. People just want to be around other people that are yeah. fun and sex positive. Yep. Shell Pie um, makes a comment. She's been married 28 years. Wow. And in the Congrats. lifestyle. And she feels that to be successful, the couple has to be strong. No doubts. Well, you might have doubts, but if you do, talk about them. Right. But I agree with you. No doubts. Get rid of the trust issues. Eliminate jealousy by learning each other's hot points. I'm adding some things here, Shell, as you can see. Uh, yeah, no jealousy issues between each other. Well, and if there are, talk about them. And no questionable doubt on how strong and secure your love for each other is. It works only if the two of you are willing to work at it together. Right. One of you can't be doing it, and the other not right. doing it. Dirty Purr has, uh, on most of their, their articles of clothing and signs, a uh, circle. And you know what it says? No drama zone. I like that. No drama zone. <laughs> when you and I talk about being 100% Monogamous, what do we refer to? What do we, 100%, oh, mo emotionally, I'm Whoa. sorry. Yeah, because we do play with other people. Right, emotionally monogamous. What was, what, what did we nickname her? Oh, Kathy, God. Kelly, Debbie, Dawn? I don't know, she's trying to get your attention though. God, I, I don't We interviewed her. her once and we had to use a fake name because she opened up quite a lot. Yeah, she did. I think I, I heard that. Did you hear that show? A little bit show. Of it. Yeah, yeah, you know, she lives with a guy who she thinks is cheating on her all the time, but she's actually the one cheating <laughs> and, uh, she yeah. wants to catch him, but is doing it herself. She actually stalked a guy once. Yeah, no, yeah, we heard all that. We were in, uh, I work at the Orange County office most of the time. Okay. okay. And um, For Dash Radio. For Dash Radio. And, um, yeah, definitely, we heard that one. We're like, hey, that's... Interesting, that's huh? Girl. Yep. Right. Yeah, you knew who that was. And for but privacy. we're all scandalous, though. So. Hey, Hopefully that works here. I'm okay. I, I'm, <laughs> I don't believe in lying and cheating. I will not judge somebody, though, because we also dove exactly. a little bit into her past issues and, wow, you know, <laughs> from abandonment to uh, lack of it. Yeah, just, well, we can just, wow. I could do a case study. Uh, I really could. Right? I really could. She could be my dissertation, I think. Okay, but go, to, go back to the trust issue. How do you, tr how do you trust each other? What's the, the, what do you think the first step is to? I think it's just being completely honest. That's tough. And, and I agree with you. Uh, oh, thanks, Shopify. I agree with you. That you need to be completely open and honest. However, fear does set in, and we must be realistic in and our it's expectations. Natural. Right. So here's a realistic example of something might happen, of how it might happen. If Uncle Squirt goes home and tells, let's pretend you have a girlfriend or wife? No. Okay, let's Aunt pretend Squirt. you did. Let's say Uncle Squirt goes home to Aunt Squirt. <laughs> Auntie Squirt. Auntie, Auntie Squirt. <laughs> and says, honey, I was working on a show today that I found pretty interesting. What do you think about what they call the lifestyle? What's lifestyle, Uncle Squirt? Well, Auntie Squirt, the lifestyle is, and then he goes into an explanation. Realistically, odds are Auntie Squirt might slap him. Yes. Or get very angry and walk away looking at him saying, wait, I'm not enough for you? Now, that's what typically, typically happens. And the reason is people need time to process. Yes. So you asked about how you trust. You trust by allowing people to come to a point where they can have a rational conversation. And say it in a manner that people aren't going to slap you in the face. Well, not that. I, the, that was like, an added, hey, that hey, was theatrical, hey, babe, you know. Uh, hey, can we uh, fool around with someone else? <coughs> Don't say it like that. Or, uh, hey, baby, I brought this couple home. I think it's really cool. I'd like to have sex with him, and I want sex with her. <laughs> 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 fire, fire. No, you know, that, that might get you. Way. Yeah, Beavis and Butt Hits. I, I can't do it. No, so you can't. can't. That might get you uh, uh, slapped. Yeah. But that's that's an extreme example because it's not easy. You are your question is how do you build trust is is a phenomenal question and something we can spend. We've been on air now and the number one show for over five and a half years, and I believe one of the reasons is well you you're hot and funny, and thank you because we talk about what's relevant. We talk about things that can be utilized by everyone. We're not bragging where we went and and who we saw because everywhere we go people can join us. Mm -hmm. But and you, you gotta, build trust. Right, and you got to understand, humans will m make mistakes. So it, it's the people that learn from those mistakes. Back up, back up. What mistakes are you talking about? Any mistakes. I don't think that's a fair statement, though. When you're talking yeah. about how do you build trust, is it mistake? No, I'm just saying in relationships, people... I'm not saying cheating. I'm not right. saying things like that. I'm saying you'll you'll screw up. You will you may, like, wink at the girl yeah, in the now, grocery store. And but your wait, why are you winking at a girl in the grocery <laughs> store if you're committed to someone else? I don't do that even. Back up, because I feel, <laughs> I feel though that that you're you're talking about two different things, and all of a sudden my I don't have ADD, but I tend to seem like I do mm -hmm. is hating you, it's affecting you. 
<laughs> what you're talking about, though, is yes, we have to accept. People say true love is accepting someone with their pros and their cons. Yes. Okay, but go back to the trust issue. Whether someone gets aggravated or annoyed or upset when you bring a topic up that might be uncomfortable, mm -hmm. I feel it's the deliverer's responsibility, the deliverer of the information, yes. to understand that mm -hmm. and help de-escalate the situation. As far as the receiver, they should hear what's being said and not build something it's not. Right. Don't build a jack joke because it could mean right. Don't, something totally opposite. Right. Don't answer questions that have never been asked. Right. Okay. Okay. The question wasn't, can we do it now? Right. The question was, what do you think about it? Right. You don't even know if your partner wants to do it. Your yeah. partner just said, what do you think about it? Right. Even if your partner said, how would you feel if this or that? Again, answer the question. Deal with the question that was asked. As the person asking the question, allow them to answer. Mm -hmm. The biggest gift you have on your side is one word, silence. Stay silent. Okay. Stay silent. <laughs> And let your, the longer, there's a saying in sales and marketing and persuasion. All right. When you ask a question, the first to, the first one to talk okay. will lose. So don't ask the question and then answer. No, so yes, right away. ask you, the question. You ask the, quest, you ask the question and then, and then shut up. Shut the hell up. Okay. Now this isn't sales and marketing because I'm not, I'm not suggesting you sell something to your partner. What I'm saying though is you know, you watch it. Next time you go to buy something like a car or a computer or a cell phone even, they're gonna ask you a question. The successful ones will not say another word because they're gonna let you process everything. Interesting, I never thought of that before. And based on your next statement, oh. they now know where to go right. to close this deal. Interesting, I'll but, have to pay attention to that. But what do so many of us do? Not only do we try to answer the question, we give them multiple answers to the question that they may never have really thought of and don't really mean. Of course, because now you're just answering for them, and they're right. and they're going to come. Up, they're going to take the easy way out and just choose what you're answering. And that's not a negative thing. They're exactly. No, they're, it's just human nature. Human nature deescalate the situation. And I heard if the last thing you say will be the last thing they, they remember. Usually, they pick the last thing. So you want uh, that's what I read. Yeah, so make I it a positive. Oh my god, I I I do that. I answer for people. Because I want the outcome to be what I want it to right. be. Christy's making a point here, and I want to make sure I emphasize this. This is not about winning or losing. It should always be about win-win. Never, ever win-lose. What I mean by this is in a situation with your partner, okay, married, uh, dating, doesn't matter. In any type of modern love, consensual, non-monogamous relationship, what I mean by winning is it's a win for both of you because a loss to one is a loss to you both. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if you ask a question, if you have a concern, if something is troubling you, whether it's about money, whether it's about work, whether it's about family issues, uh, bring it up mm -hmm. and then shut up. <laughs> Let your partner, show the respect to your partner that you will allow them to answer. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Gotcha. Because I agree with you, Christy. That cannot be about winning and losing because now it's a game. No, you said, you said, uh... I think it was on Twitter or something the other day that you can't compromise. It's more about negotiation because compromise. What if you're the always the one compromising? Right, you're keeping score. You negotiate. Swingers should not keep score. That's right. why we say do not take. When we ask who are swingers, swingers are people. In my opinion, mm -hmm. there's no one right way to swing. Anyone tells you there is, yeah, get rid of them. Don't even talk to them. Mm -hmm. The only right way to swing is your way, and that goes back to what you just shared that I've talked about so so much um, in seminars we've done and in coaching I do that compromise is another word for giving in. Right. In a lot of people's mind. Okay, I'll do it this this one time, but you owe me one. Right. Usually it's that way. And it should never be an issue of reciprocity. In a relationship. It's a big word. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> it should be give and get, not give, 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 take, 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 take. Right? Uh-huh. But when you negotiate, all right, honey, you know I'm really not into um, country western movies. But you're right. The Magnificent Seven does look like a good remake, and I like these actors. Let's go see the movie. Okay, that's negotiating. That's not me giving in. Now, in something like as trivial as a movie, absolutely, because then next time I get to pick a movie. Yeah. But when it comes to playing, right. you and I have made a firm commitment, and we've, we stand firm on that, that we don't take one for the team. Never. Why would you not? No. Do? Why would I not? Yeah, why would you not take one for me? 
Because... I mean, tell me. Uh, because I'm going to resent you one day, and it's just going to build up and build up and build up. And so if it happens one day. time, you'll resent me? It, I think it's possible. It is possible. Anything's possible. I right. think that I would feel like <clears throat> you owe me one, and... and if you don't owe me one, then it's gonna it's just gonna create this horrible, horrible fight. It can it's create gonna be a mess. it can create. Yeah. It can. We do know some people that can And I don't think that's fair to, to either one of us. Right. I like to err on the side of caution and go with the odds. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I definitely emphasize there is no swingers handbook. People want to write things and say, This is the handbook on swinging. No, it's not. It's what worked for you. I've had the luxury. I'm I am not a humble person. I'm humbled by the things people have shared. Even Uncle Squirt shared something his that sister wrote. Moment. It's that moment that humbles me. Uh, well, only because a humble person would not say they're humble, so I can't be humble if I say I'm humble. But I'm humbled to learn. You and I have heard so many different asterisks and caveats and and, and bullet points to how people play. Mm -hmm. And they label themselves or don't label. Use what it classify, label, distinguish, whatever. Do what you but want. To you and I, we are 100% emotionally monogamous. That's why we are swingers. We're not polyamorous. We enjoy seeing each other. So I feel if you asked me to take one for the team, it would be natural for me to, I should address it at that moment, but at least later say, what was it about that couple or that woman mm -hmm. that led you to desire something more than our rules? More than having consideration for our rules. Right. Now, I've worded it a little differently because that is kind of an aggressive statement. I'd want it to be assertive but not aggressive. It, it is. It does get straight to the point. However, I think it's fair to ask something like that in, right. in that manner. Just, right. uh, I don't know how you would put it, but it, it's going beyond our rules and our boundaries. Right, and that so. goes back to communication. That goes back to there's no one right way. When you and I write about do's and don'ts, the listen, the do's, that's up to you. The don'ts, uh, I'll probably get you kicked out of a party. So we're sharing them with you right. so you don't get kicked out of a damn party. The don'ts are, are a, a definite. The do's, you do what you want. Well, no, 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 no. You don't do what you want. You don't touch without permission. No, 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 no I'm you not saying that. You don't bring drama to I'm a party. Not, you don't play with that. people who don't like to play a certain way. No, I'm so not no, saying no. that. You do what's in your rules and boundaries and other people's boundaries. Respecting other people's yes. rules and boundaries. So your biggest do, in essence, is following the rules and boundaries the two of you have set up. I don't firm, I, you and I have a firm rule that we don't change our rules at an event. We discuss it later because there's always tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Air quotes, right? It's a moo point, you know, cow's like a cow. It's, a, it's like a cow's opinion. Not, no. Doesn't matter. A lot of French references. Sorry, a lot of French references there. Get it or regret it. That's how I look at it. Uh -huh. That is how I look at it. Uh, toy companies are... I'm impressed these fun? days. Yeah, they're fun. You and I, you and I have a lot of fun experimenting with toys, and a lot of them are designing toys now, which I think are phenomenal for couples. Mm -hmm. So by using remote controls, yes, yes. well, yeah, because now whereas a lot of men looked at the toy as a threat, I've always said, look at it like your best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, have you ever wanted to be in WWF? I think it's WWE now or WCW. Tag them in. Right. You know, <laughs> you. And you can still have fun. You can still enjoy it. If you're done or you you want to prolong it, use a toy. There you go. Or foreplay. Uh, exactly. It makes great foreplay. I mean, I, and Revan. if I could breathe out of my ears, I probably wouldn't come up. Okay? I enjoy that kind of foreplay. There's toys for that, too. Yeah, well, well, my point <laughs> is the toy can be the starter. The toy can be an additional finisher. So I really enjoy it. You and Anthony can't go without a toy. Yeah, and, but, and that, that was the, that was that the weirdest weird. coaching I have ever done is my aunt sharing with me that the magic wand has desensitized her so much mm -hmm. that she cannot orgasm from penetration or oral sex. But you can read. I taught her no. verbally, <laughs> verbally shared techniques as to what she can do to gain back the sensitivity mm -hmm. to her clitoris. Just stop. So weird. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, was weird. it is. It's just stop doing that. Basically, you can't just stop cold turkey, but yeah, there, there are ways. And I mean, after all the free legal advice she's given me over the years, I figured I owed it to her. So yeah, no, but you, you do these things. You, you do. One of the things toy companies, so they're focusing on couples. And though I'm not into it, uh -oh. they're focusing on prostate stimulation. Uh -oh. Nah. Now, no. would you take a peek in a stinky if a woman told you, if Auntie Squirt 
really wanted to put the pinky in the stinky and stimulate that prostate. So my rule is no, no buckles. Right. Unless she's like super clean and she wants to do it. That's what, no buckles. So you will for her, but you don't want it done to you. Never. I'm with you. High five on that one. I'm with you. Yeah. 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 And then no dicks. Okay. No, no penis is there. No other dicks. Okay. In the room or or involved. Involved. So In having a threesome with another man, you and your woman, would be out because you just don't want any other penis. And then I, and then I never say never because as soon as sure, I say sure. never, then it happens. It happens right. and it's awesome. You know, right. It's cool. All right. Right. And, and, and I've been involved in many what we call MFM, male, right, female, right. male threesomes, uh, group settings, orgy, things like that. And there are a number of, and they're, they're closeted, unfortunately, because in the lifestyle community, bisexual men aren't uh, given the respect they deserve. Right. Because they're, it's, it's, if I were to say to a woman, hey, you're hot, and uh, I'm attracted to you, and she said, I'm not attracted to you, it's the same respect. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm showing her that a bisexual man should and has shown me. Yeah. Okay? So we've had situations where we've played with a couple where you were into the wife, I was into the wife, the husband wanted to just watch, mm -hmm. it was his request, yeah. and touch her. Okay, he then shared with me, I'm bisexual, will that trouble you? And I said, share with me why it should trouble me. I mean, that was, and he, he, he was flabbergasted. That's, right. Yeah. Because, and other people have heard this story, it's happened other times. I'm not worried if you, Uncle Squirt, are looking at my penis. Okay, really, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Because I'm focusing on these hot ladies here. I'm into women, I'm into women. Right. Right? And what someone else is into, whether they admit it or not, that's that's theirs, right? Yeah. That, that's their. They're not touching me. They're not disrespecting me. They're not talking dirty to me if it's a man because I'm not into that. Yeah. So it's interesting to see though the amount of um, prostate stimulating toys that are being released now because a lot of guys are learning, well, okay, so it doesn't make me this, it makes me right, feel I was, that. I was gonna say, it's not you're coming out of any closet or anything like not, that. No. I think it's more acceptable for men to enjoy it now. Right. And they're not saying that they're they're gay or bisexual. They're and if they are, they are, that's I, fine. I like it, right. why can't I do it? It feels good, it's Sci not hurting anyone. Scientifically speaking, medically speaking, guys who don't want to hear this, you, you need to hear this, um, it, like Pocket said, it does not make you gay or bisexual. And if you are a gay man or a bisexual man, good for you, that's who you are. Mm -hmm. But for a heterosexual man who enjoys prostate, the prostate stimulation is supposedly the greatest orgasm yeah. a man can ever have. I have pretty good orgasms already, I'm not yeah. interested. Yeah, and that was my thing, I heard like, it doesn't matter if it's, it could be the greatest thing. Right. If for me in this life, in this dimension, this iteration of life, right? right? Mm -hmm. Currently. Like, it's not about homosexuality, it's like. It doesn't turn you on. You don't shit where you eat. <laughs> well, that's a good point. Like, but you would I, I eat like from somebody's shitter if they cleaned it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a way, there's a way, there's a, there's, if you want to have fun, like, there's, there's a way to do it. But right. in order for me to live my life the way I want it, like, <clears throat> right. just stay away from it. I do believe and you don't have to. It's, yeah. it's, you don't have to experience that to know that you have pretty good sex life. I, yeah. I do I'm believe a lot of it's a social. Do, yeah. Would you agree as a man, guy to guy, I think some of it has to do with the social stigma of it. The social I stigma of it. it you know, when you go back to the Roman days, the ancient days, that was normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was normal. Yeah. Uh, so I, I do believe socially, society has put a stigma on it, number one. Number two, there is an immediate discomfort to the feeling prior to the pleasure. So as men, and this is why I say, if men gave birth, there, there would not be overpopulation. No. Yeah. There would not be. Because you tell me something's uncomfortable at first, but then incredible, I'm not going to the incredible because I don't want to get through the uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So I believe that has a lot to do with it. Yes. But a dear friend of mine, um, who we've talked about, and if you're listening, DP, too bad. He was, I think, about <laughs> 18 or 19. The woman was in her late 20s, early 30s. They're hooking up. All of a sudden, she stuck that pinky up, the stinky. He had no clue. And this guy's 6'9". <laughs> 290, a lineman. He loved it. And now, he enjoys it. But I, again, it's, it's a... Go ahead. I think that is a... Uh, a not, no pun intended, crappy way to go about it. <laughs> crappy. Only because You're I right. think that you need to ask permission before you do that. Cause oh, I do, you definitely need to ask permission. That's, that's, a, that's a taboo thing just to stick it up there and expect that him be okay with it. When people have asked, um, what what is one of the reasons uh, 
What time is it? 2.54. Oh, good. We're doing good, right? We're doing yeah. good. Good. But I mean, we started late. We started late. We can run a few minutes, right? All right, cool. Well, people, you know, one of the issues you have with couples is on a number of times when you and I have made the decision whether it was going to be soft swap or full swap, you know, we were going to let it flow. You have one huge rule, whether we're playing with just women mm -hmm. or in the past, those times when they're in couples. What's your one big rule? Don't go near the butt. Don't go near the back Even door. Even women have done it. Yes. Even women. It's crazy. What rule? So men who, well, you know, well, yeah, it's the jerks that thought, oh, well, I can stretch that rule. No, you can't. You go near, and that's the crack, too. You can massage a butt cheek without rubbing the crack hole. Really? You really can. Really isn't. You know, I say no to crack every day, right? right? Not just stuff to smoke. I mean, you know, I like your butt crack, but I'm not, I'm not gonna like, you know, crest down it because I know that. Mm -hmm. Show with a stranger. Get me in the garage. I'll get you. <laughs> That's how I look at that. Can you make tomorrow better if you're always thinking about yesterday? No, you can't. In a relationship, at that. work, with family, it's the holiday season. How can tomorrow be better if you're always thinking about yesterday? You can't. Unless, I mean, you can learn from your mistakes from, from yesterday and, and uh, apply it to today, but you can't make tomorrow better. Uh, I mean, you, you can make tomorrow better if you just live every day as if it's your last. So, as your sister wrote, what is your right? Let love, let God or something? Let go, let, let, let go. Let go, let God. And let God. <laughs> okay, I am not a very religious person. What Neither I love... Or what, what, Okay, okay. <laughs> what I love about that, though... Is let go, let God. What the first part to me is saying is let go. Can I put Thor in there instead of God? Let go, so let Potter. Thor. <laughs> Thor is hot. Well, you know, yeah. gods. Anyway. Yeah. He's hot. Let go. I love that because it reminds me of what we're talking about right now. If you let go of yesterday, mm -hmm. tomorrow has a chance to be as perfect as perfect can be. Mm -hmm. It does. Because what you do today will affect tomorrow's. Yes, it but will. that's up to you. And if you've done something today, I'm going with the air quotes again, brother. <laughs> if you've done something today that affects all those tomorrows, mm -hmm. take tomorrow to work on how you want the next tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow to be. You can pull the bad trigger or the good trigger. Oh. <laughs> Look at you quoting me. I love it. You can pull the I want to have a good day today, regardless, or you know what? I'm going to make everything crappy today. You, you can't. It's all mental. Right. And I don't literally mean pull a trigger against your head. No. I'm saying inside our brains, we have two buttons. Let's go with buttons. How's that? The buttons is good. Okay, we'll go two buttons. <laughs> Triggers are sounds kind of like yeah. that. And majority of people press the negative button when a situation occurs. They think of the negative. They project right. jokes. They just build this. Well, they project, they project yeah. what they believe. Mm -hmm. And this, is, <laughs> this isn't this just in a relationship. Your this mind is, can do crazy things. Yes. This is yourself. You called somebody. They didn't call you back right away. You're building this. You're projecting this whole thing. And really all it was, their cell service was down. Or traffic was bad. Whatever it is. But when you push that negative trigger, the negative button, you have the power to make a decision to immediately press the positive. And counter effect, oh, they don't care about me anymore, or oh, they don't respect me anymore, or oh, I'm not going to get that job. Immediately counter effect it with, you know what, something may be going on, I'm going to wait this out, I've earned their respect, they've earned mine. It's something that simple that's not relationship based. And in a relationship, you should do even more. So even if you push the negative button first, don't project, go right to the positive button, whatever side is positive, <laughs> and push that damn button. That's how you can make tomorrow better. You can remember yesterday, but don't dwell on yesterday. Right. That's my concern. Don't about have regrets. It. All right, then here's a good one for you. I love oh asking you this you once a year. Yes, once a year I ask you this question. Great. If you could, would you edit or erase parts of your past? And what would they be? Time to think about it. No, it's not as fun. I don't think I would erase uh, any part of it. Uh, can I erase it from my memory? Of <laughs> that would be helpful. Um, I don't think I would because it wouldn't make me the person I am today. You're right. I said, great. Uh, great I don't regret anything in life. I know I wish things were some. I wish things had turned out differently. Differently. But I'm not going to take it back. I'm not going to edit that part of my life. Because it made you who you are today. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I think I'm a pretty story. good person. You, you got your, your I've positives. I've good days. You got your good days. You got your <laughs> positives. All right. Before we close out today, and I'm not transitioning into this one so well, but that's okay because there's a lot of fun people walking by. Kyle's so cute, by the way. <laughs>
Big passion of mine is you avoiding AVS. Yes. Angry vagina syndrome. Yes. pH levels it's in women. Thing. And seriously, as guys, not only did I already know we had it easy, but we really do have pretty easy. Uh -huh. I mean, we, we don't have these openings. You can go swimming. pH that problem. level. Yeah, we're not worried. Hot tubs. We're not worried about pH levels. Yes. Condoms, unless you're alert. And guys, 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 consensual non monogamy relationships or single, looking to have sex, A, safe sex always, B, carry latex free condoms. It will save your sex life far more often than you know. Because a lot of women don't even know that they're allergic to it, right. and men. And men. And then they'll think they got a rash from you when really it was just the condom. <laughs> but then you're going to get a bad reputation around they're town. Not it down there. Let's keep vaginas healthy. How do we keep vaginas healthy? I did some research. I want to know, because I don't have Did one. you do hands-on research? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. With a lot of different <laughs> as vaginas. As long as they were clean hands. They're, well, you were there with most of them, so yeah. All right. Drinking water. When a woman stays hydrated, it allows her natural self-cleaning system to work. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you drink enough water? No. Okay. Drink more water. Tell anti-flow when there becomes anti-flow. Anti, not anti. Anti-flow. Because a vagina that's healthy is happy. It it's, makes you happy, too. Makes me happy. Because you're not getting any if I'm not. Yeah, ABS, angry yeah. vagina syndrome. Don't want that. Absolutely don't want no that. No summer weeks. Yeah, and guys, one other thing. If you're going to finger a woman, wash your damn hands. Mm. Seriously. <laughs> I know it's like sometimes spontaneous, but remember, you got bacteria on your finger. Guess where it's going? I don't want to sound callous if it's a one-night stand and you don't care. <gasps> Oh, you're such a man. Let's be honest. Hold on. Oh Listen. my God. Tell me I'm not being honest and real with that. You're I wouldn't do it, you're but. You're being a peepee -pee head. <laughs> I have possibly done it in the past. Now, though, no. Not hand sanitizer. I was supposed to be a one night stand, but look what happened seven years later. True, I screwed See? that one up. Yeah, you did. I screwed that one up. <laughs> All right, yogurt. Huge benefit. Yes. If you don't like yogurt, take probiotics. Did you know you can even put yogurt up there? Yep. And you can get probiotics and put them. Oh, someone told me a doctor told me one time that she actually breaks open an, uh, the uh, probiotics. probiotics and puts it in her underwear. That's crazy. Well, yeah. it might work. I've never tried it and I'm not going to. But thanks for the. Uncle Squirt's gonna love this one. The bacteria down there uh, is only found in a few certain foods that you can buy at the grocery store. Yogurt has acidophilus. Which I'm told is a good bacteria for your vagina. And it has nothing to do with asses. Yeah, it has it's just called acids. acidophilus. Acid. It's actually good for men too, for our, our the flora in our tummy, our stomach. Tummy. Yeah, lower sugar yogurt is actually the best. However, if you have sugar because you need the taste, go for it. The yogurt benefits are worth it. Mm -hmm. More fruits and vegetables, guys. Same for you, uh, but women uh, eat more fruits and veggies while avoiding smoking and limit your coffee. Be aware of strong salt. Uh, Keep drinking coffee. You're We're not about smoking coffee. like... Weed? Yeah, weed's fine. Weed's fine. <laughs> I don't know that for a fact, but I'm just going to make the statement. Weed's fine. <laughs> uh, broccoli. Sorry, not broccoli. Asparagus. Oh. We know what asparagus does to the chemical in our urine. You know what? I've Wash off. So many Wash off. people lately that don't know what, what it does. It makes your pee stink. And nobody wants to go down there when it stinks down there. I don't. Two things I feel should not smell like fish or have a bad odor. Sushi. Sushi and restaurants. Vaginas. And vaginas. Yes. Simple. <laughs> or vagina restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Which are only found in Thailand, by the Bangkok way. Bangkok and uh, Phuket. Yeah, <laughs> things like that. You can get a birthday cake, a balloon, and vagina. Oh, my God. Allow your vagina to breathe. Healthy vaginas, they need to breathe. If you yes. go in the water, but then you keep your wet bathing suit on, that can be what is called... Bad news. And a bacteria factor. And women <laughs> sleeping without underwear, good Good Whoa, thing. wait, what? I know, what? I know. Spiders cannot crawl up there. I was so worried that spiders <laughs> yeah. were going to lay babies in my vagina if I slept naked. Because I heard that you eat six spiders when you're sleeping. Eat, eat not like consume in your vagina. But there's a hole, so they're just thinking, oh, this is a warm, cozy hole. So I didn't wear under. I wore underwear to bed all the time until I found that out. Uh, and now I couldn't do it without. Yeah. Shell Pie is making the statement. Uh, uh, Uncle Squirt, do you agree with this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the statement. Then I'm gonna give you my last verse to it. Happy wife, happy life. What do you think? Yeah. True. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you my last verse. Happy wife, happy life, or else do not keep a sharp knife. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. So true. So true. I got one name for you, Lorena Bobbitt. That's Smart it. Smart lady. No. Oh. Smart lady. No. No. <laughs> I just can't believe they found it. All right, let's not. That's go that's there. true in most cases. If the, if the girls are happy, if the right. women are happy, yes. right. everyone's. I'm a very alpha man. I'm a dom, what's called a dominant. Um, it's in, in sexual and intimate situations. But for anybody who's, in my opinion, 
comfortable and confident with themselves, they recognize that when their partner is happy, they'll be happy. So the woman in the relationship is looking to make sure her partner is happy. And the man in the relationship, get rid of the stereotypes. Get rid of social whatever you think is supposed to be. No. Your responsibility is also to make your woman happy. Mm -hmm. It really is. It makes you, in my opinion... A better man. Not, no, not a, a far better man. Yeah, it does. Be a better man. Pearl Jam, right? Pearl Jam? Pearl Jam? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be a better man. Yeah. It makes you, a, in my opinion, a stronger man, a yeah. more secure man. It does. A secure me is the way to create a strong we. And take care of your partner. Look out for them. But yes, I agree with you. When the woman is happy, because they're recognizing their man is showing them respect. Respect. Show respect, back too. respect just to the, I'm going oh into God, music today. I can't sing or do in person. <laughs> this is a talk show going Yeah, I can't, I can't dash though. The vibe is the vibe of dash. I look, I'm seriously, now that Playboy Radio is powered by Dash, you know, we had some great times on Sirius XM. We had some very dark years when uh the transition happened. And now the medieval times. Yeah. Ages. <laughs> no, yeah, it was worse than that. It was it was going from, you know, Modern day. It was like if, if technology just quit. That, that was yeah. what it was like for us. That, yeah, seriously. Try going three years without your phone or any technology. That would be like, oh, yeah, you can't mm -hmm. do it. Now being powered by Dash. And again, PlayboyRadio.com did the best they could. Um, the people in charge, well, no, we had Scum Bucket. You know, what did Stern call his pig vomit, right? We had Scum Bucket. Stern had pig vomit. Once Scum Bucket got removed, things started to look up. And, and thanks to the leadership at Playboy Radio and the leadership here of Ski and everyone at, at uh, Dash, it is back to real. It's back to family. It's back to millions of listeners. I believe the last count was close to 6.25 million people have downloaded the Dash Radio app. And our numbers where we were averaging 8 million listeners per show on Sirius are close to a million and a half, 2 million here now. And it's just going to keep growing. Not, well, I'm not that good. Pockets is good. Uh, Uncle Squirt will be with us sometimes. And it's, it's just, it's, it's free. It's easy. It's accessible. And you it's fun. Fuck shit, piss ass. Yeah, we can say all that stuff. I know. I, you know, I, I stay PC. It's you, you two can do all. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in there. I'll fuck straight up once in a while. There you go. I'll fuck some shit up once in a while. There you go. But that's when I look at it that way. Uh, Michelle. Oh no, Michaela. Sorry, Michaela. I didn't see you at first. Each person is responsible for their own happiness. Totally agree. That said, as humans, we naturally try to make our partners happy and to do positive things for them that contribute to their personal happiness. Let me build on that because you and I have talked often. Uncle Squirt, something I'll share with you is nobody can make you happy except you. Mm -hmm. When I don't, you know, when it's a child or it's another adult that says, well, you did this to cause that. No, 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 no. I may have done this, but how you reacted is 100% on you. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not talking about I pulled a trigger, shot you, and you died. No, that's my fault. <laughs> that's my fault. But if I tell you, hey, we're going to go have drinks tonight. And you decide to not tell me, I'd rather you stay home. No, no, that's your fault. Mm -hmm. It's things like how that. You can control your emotions and, your, and how you handle it. So. Exactly. And you are responsible for your happiness, which is why I go back to what you wrote. If you are not happy and your partner is not happy and you see no way at reigniting any kind of flame, be mature enough mm -hmm. to say thank you. This was fun. <laughs> Uh, time to walk away next. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been next. It's been fun, but not real. Yeah, it's been fun, but not real. Not, next. Not real fun. But you negotiate. I look at that, too. I'm not comparing a relationship to a, a buying a new car. But when you go to get a car, right, you're, you've decided, okay, I'm done with this car. Why? Because it's just not working the same way. So that, you know, look at your relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe you can find a way to keep that car because you can fix a few things and that car becomes like new again. But no, now you've decided, all right, it's time to get a new car. You're going to negotiate with a car salesman. So negotiate with your partner to find a way to make the car, the relationship work. If you can't, it's time to get a new car. Mm -hmm. And when you're test driving new cars, make sure you wear condoms like the tree. <laughs> we love being with you. Modern Loves, Holly and Michael, live on Playboy Radio, powered by Dash Radio. Check us out at Swing Time 69 on Twitter, Michael Pockets on Facebook, and your Instagram. Real Holly Pockets. Don't forget, join us New Year's Eve in Miami. Go to llvclub.com. There's only about 22 to 25 spots available January 3rd through the 10th at Desire Resorts. Sorry, desire-experience.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there for International Swingers Month. You don't have to be international. You don't have to be a swinger. But it is a month, so that part holds true. Right. Join us there. And also, Young Swingers Week in March. Go to youngswingerweek.com. It's March of 2017. Baby. Yeah. 
amazing Uncle Squirt, a pleasure to meet you. Are you ready? Yep. Swing, swing. We love you, family. We always say family. Blood makes you related, but loyalty makes you family. <laughs> So yes, we were all over the board today, getting back into the swing, swing of things. As we always are. Yeah. I will. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Christy, what you just said, stay tuned. Wait till you hear about one package, which is worth literally over three thousand dollars, and the other package, which is worth over six hundred dollars. It was worth over thirteen hundred. No, the the hotel and the party. Two nights uh, at the hotel. That's the one over three thousand. That's the one over three thousand. Yes. And then we're off air now off Dash or Sun <laughs> on um, Facebook Live. Christy, what you just said is going to happen. We just have to get all the legality straight because unfortunately there has to be legal verbiage so that everyone is safe. But one package will be worth over three thousand dollars, the other package will be worth over six hundred dollars. You think it's over thirteen hundred. I think it's six hundred. I don't know. I think it's over six hundred. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe you're right. But get ready, New Year's Eve, check it out, and uh, we will be doing a giveaway. It's not that I'm saying what it's for, but it could be for New Year's Eve. <laughs> Peace out, love Peace you. Out. Can we show your face or no? No. No. Oh, squirt. Incognito, baby. Peace out.